hi everyone welcome back in our last video I gave a brief introduction to IPFS what IPFS is and how it overcomes the drawbacks of our current internet model which is mostly governed by HTTP so in this video I will walk you through the steps of installation of IPFS in Ubuntu and in our next video I'll also show you how to install IPFS in Windows so let's get started first go to Google page type IPFS install it will take you to the official page click on install of install IPFS in the left menu choose command line scroll down and click on Linux the first step is to download the IPFS distribution for that you need to take this and run in your bash I already ran so once it gets downloaded it should show a message something like this it will download the go IPFS implementation of IPFS okay which is written in go language that's why the name is go IPFS okay next we need to unzip the file so copy this command paste it copy paste enter so once it is done the next step is to go into IPFS and in run the install.sh script this is a shell script file we need to run this file so cd go IPFS enter and here we have install.sh run this file so it needs sudo privileges okay so we need to enter sudo in front of it sudo it will ask for password enter your password that's it if it is done successfully you should see a message called moved IPFS to user local and bin directory then the next step is to check if it is installed correctly or not we need to run this command IPF version and it should display the version of IPFS that is installed in our system so copy paste enter C 0.11.0 so IPFS is now installed correctly in our system and the next step we is to check again with the help command help this should pop up all the commands that are available with IPFS so with this command you will can see all the commands that are available with IPFS okay you can go through this but I'll tell you the important ones okay I'm clearing my screen right the next step is to initialize the IPFS repository to do that we need to run IPFS in it okay see this will create a key pair for your node and a repository with some IPFS objects okay in your screen you should see something like this okay now copy this command okay copy this command and run in your terminal like this if everything is go if if everything goes good you should see something like this hello and welcome to IPFS IPFS okay good now let us add some files to IPFS so first let's create some files so echo I am saving if text file with some text in it some text okay and the file name I want is IPFS so let's create a file with this file name okay so got created ls 
okay so here if you do ls you will see that we have a file called ipfs file if you cat do ipfs so these are all the linux commands that i am running these are nothing new okay if you see what is there in this ipfs file.txt you will see it has a content called some text now let us add this file to ipfs how to add this file to ipfs this, there is just a simple command ipfs space add to add we use the command add dot the name of the file we are on the same directory so i'm just typing the name of the file ipfs file okay so this file gets added to ipfs say once the file is added successfully it will return something like add it okay and the hash that represents your file okay this is the hash that represents your file and if you want to see if your file is successfully added or not you can run ipfs okay pin it will so it will list all the pinned files pinned fields pinned means the files that got added or pinned pinned or added just the same okay it will list out all the pinned files to ipfs so the hash that got generated previously in our previous step okay this one okay should be present in our list see here it is okay so uh, in order to see the content in the pinned files okay in order to see the content in this hash we need to write ipfs cat and the hash key that was written while we add a file so this is the hash okay you need to put ipfs cat and that and paste that hashed key it will return the same text that we added to the file previously some text right okay now what if i change that hash a little bit or if i change some text in that file then again a new hash will be generated let me demo it out okay let us uh, edit uh, edit that nano okay i'm editing this file some text is change i am changing the content of this file okay i am saving it okay now i try to again add this to ipfs see a total new hash got generated okay now if you try to execute the previous hash you will get some text and if you execute the new text new hash this is what i have explained you in the previous introduction video you never get the tampered content if even if some hacker tries to modify the original file so this is the new hash the tampered one okay if if someone tries to go to the this hash they will get a tampered one see some text is changed so in brief if the change in the text happens or if there is change in the content of the file the hash will also get changed so that is the main concept here so whenever we try to access the hash we'll get the content which was originally there if for someone comes and tries to change it the hash also gets changed so we need not have to worry because we have this hash so whenever we try to hit this one we'll get the same file so after this till now we are working locally okay now in order to work in a swarm of network okay we need to start the ipfs daemon ipfs d a e m o n daemon if you click it it will start okay after that so once the daemon is running okay in a terminal we can open another terminal and see all the peers that we are connected to to list out all the peers the command is ipfs swrn swarm peers so these are all the peers that we are connected to 
in short as we are in local the file that we have uploaded will also be available with all these peers okay if you want me to remind take you back so this is how I am connected to to all the peers these are all called peers we can also call these as nodes so the file will be available with all these peers suppose here I am okay now I want to download the file so instead of making a request to the server now I can download the file from the nearest peers so to download the file what we can do is we can go to the browser okay we can go to the browser we can type localhost the IPFS in local by default run on port 8080 okay slash IPFS IPFS slash the hashed key that is written by the IPFS when we uploaded the file in the last step remember if you don't remember the hash key you can go to the ter terminal okay and write IPFS pinned ls this will read all the pinned files all the added files so if you remember this was the hash that we got when we uploaded the file right so take that hash go to the browser localhost 8080 IPFS slash paste the hash key and hit enter it will return the file that we are expected see some text so this is how we can download and install IPFS in Ubuntu and we have also seen some of the commands like adding a file to IPFS network listing out all the added files using the IPFS pin ls command then we have connected to the daemon using the IPFS daemon okay then the next command was to list out all the peers that we are connected to using the IPFS one peers command and finally we are able to download the file from the browser using the URL and the hash key that's all and in our next lecture we will look into how to download the same in Windows thank you